How the cloak of infinite potential works for odds in mob remix. Let's see. The cloak of infinite potential. With release Mr. Panada remix, the cloak of infinite potential is an item player receives when first stepping foot into Pandaria. Cloak gives you time runner's advantage, an hour that allows player to loot threads of time through their adventures in Pandaria and throughout a variety of instances. Threads of time are a significant part of the leveling experiences in map remix. Okay, the player can loot threads of stamina. Okay, this is what we care about, the cloak of infinite potential for alts. I, I thought it was the cloak of infinite, but it turns out that it's the Cloak of Infinite Potential, because I thought that but the, the potential is for outs. But anyway, the Cloak of Infinite for outs. There is an, an achievement known as Infinite Power. It simply states to equip the Cloak of Infinite Potential. After that, there are seven tiers to this achievement, which involve collecting threads for the Cloak. This starts at Infinite Power 1. Uh, basically, this is gathering uh, ah, with 40 total threads collected and adds add Infinity Power 12. This is 12, right? At uh, 4,200 total threads. Holy moly, this is a lot of threads. These achievements have a reward which says that the future time running characters will begin with more threads collected. In the following images below, you will see a screenshot of the cloak status on character with infinite power 12 completed and a freshly made character. Also, you're getting only 100 experience gain, no matter if you're 200 here. From the images, we can see a freshly made time running character will start their journey on Pandaria with great boost of stats. So while Cloak may not transfer one to one in terms of stats, there is still a great early boost that players will receive when starting a new time running character. So we uh, understood something, boys and girls. I'm not gonna do another character in um, Mists of Pandaria Remix. I thought that this bonus transfers one to one, which it does not. And I'm infinitely disgusted by the fact that it's not transferring. I appreciate the fact that you gain some experience gain, but at the end of the day, we're doing Mists of Pandaria content, so. I wanted my next character just to zoom in through the content and, and that's just not going to be the case.